A Ferrari flying down Lakeshore Drive hits a barrier and then goes up in flames. Remarkable stuff. That crash caught on camera this weekend along the infamous S curve near Oak Street Beach. And our CBS 2 Suzanne Lamigno did some digging and found even though fewer cars, way fewer cars are on the road these days, that stretch of Lakeshore is as dangerous as ever. Suzanne. Brad, you know, there are 2,500 fewer crashes citywide compared to this same time last year. But when it comes to the S curve, there's been no change. And guess what? There's even more injuries. On Saturday, a fiery crash involving a Ferrari happens at the S curve near Oak Street on northbound Lakeshore Drive. Sunday, this crash happens around the same spot, heading southbound on Lakeshore Drive. Two crashes in two days. From January 1st to November 29th, there have been 199 crashes at that curve. One person has died. 32 people have been injured. In 2019, 30 people were injured and one person died. In 2018, 24 people were hurt. It's a safety factor. For decades, it has been spoken about to straighten out the curve. Stephen DePadoa is a top realtor in the Gold Coast and Streeterville and a member of SOAR, the Streeterville Organization of Active Residents. DePadoa has called Streeterville home for nearly a decade. He took part in a survey done by Second Ward Alderman Brian Hopkins this month about the safety of the Lakeshore Drive S-curve. Everyone needs to think of four critical things. Safety, functionality, quality of life, and values. Since May, a viewer who lives above the S-curve has sent us numerous photos and video of accidents taking place here during the pandemic. Fewer cars on the road means speeds can be higher and this curve is very deceptive. Alderman Hopkins says high speed has played a big role in crashes like this. He says as part of his Redefine the Drive initiative, he's gathering public input to smooth out the curve and create about 60 acres of green space. Funding is the big challenge, but there's no question for the need. It's something we absolutely have to address. We've been trying to get this off the drawing board uh, and onto the list of approved projects for a long time. Now, this project, which CDOT and IDOT are a part of, and they tell me in a statement, the goal here is to improve safety. The project is primarily federally funded. Now, it would cost about $300 million to straighten out the S-curve and create park space from Chicago Avenue all the way to North Avenue along the lakefront. Suzanne Lemigneau, CBS2 News.